Hey fashionistas, so today's video is going to be on how you can make money by using your sewing machine. And I myself have been able to make thousands of dollars by using my sewing machine to create certain projects. So I'm going to teach you guys how you can turn something from a hobby into a profitable business. Now let's get into it. So before I get into the projects, I want to show you guys my go-to sewing machine for a lot of the projects that I create. This is a Brothers CS 6000i. I love it because for one, it's inexpensive. This is also great for those that are beginners and intermediate designers. And also there's tons of settings here, especially depending on the type of looks and stitches and type of fabric that you are using for your project. So I'm gonna link this sewing machine for you guys in the description of this video. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. So one of the ways that you guys can make money is by selling your garments online. Now, if you do not have a website, you do have the option to opt in for a marketplace and sell your garments there. So when I first started, I did not have money for a website. So I joined Etsy, which is a marketplace where there's already customers and people that are willing and looking to spend some money. So I was able to kind of grow my brand there. And then eventually I was able to start my own website. But once again, Etsy is an option. You also have Facebook Marketplace place you have Poshmark you even have Instagram and there's a bunch of other websites out there where there's other designers and other crafters and people that are selling things and you can join those platforms to sell your garments as well now if you have the extra money I will advise you guys to look into creating your own website so people can shop directly with you and the great thing about having your own website which I'll show you mine's on the side is that you're able to capture data such as emails, phone numbers, addresses, and more. So if anything happens to your account when you're using these third parties, including social media, then you have a way to connect with your audience without relying on those platforms. So that's just something to think about. So a tip for those that wanna sell your garments, you can sell regular random pieces if you want to, but I found that when I created an actual collection, my sales were a lot higher. So if you kind of look at like New York Fashion Week, when you have all the designers going down the runway with their designs, um, a lot of the looks are cohesive and they're using kind of similar fabric and all the pieces tell a story. And so when I created a six piece collection, I found that instead of people just buying one thing a lot of them were buying majority of the pieces because they were able to put them together interchange a lot of the pieces together and things like that but it made sense and it looked great together you get what I'm saying so once again look into doing something like that to really help you increase your revenue with your designs Another thing that you guys can do to make money with your machine is to teach sewing classes online or host a in-person workshop. Now, the great thing about teaching online is you do not need to leave out of your town or your state to teach. You could teach in the comfort of your home or in a studio, and then also kind of being mindful of people who probably wanna learn from you, but are not able to travel out to your area. So that's why online is so great. And you could decide what that looks like for people. Is it gonna be a live stream or are you gonna provide on-demand courses? And with on-demand, this allows them to watch anytime, anywhere, and they have it for X amount of time. But with a live stream, it's in real time and they have to be there to consume that that content so there's all these type of things that you can offer you can also consider adding a membership where people can pay you monthly to consume your online courses and learn from you so if you want to teach people and show them how they can become a better seamstress then consider using platforms like udemy skillshare even on facebook you can host live events and courses there and make some money and then lastly having your own website um, which you can just add your courses there. I'll show you an example of one of my websites where I have some of my sewing courses for people to consume. Something else that you guys can do is create your own patterns. And one thing that's kind of hot right now are PDF patterns. Now, people still do shop at the store and buy the physical patterns, but it's so convenient when you have a PDF where I could just print it at home and just get straight to the project. So if you look on platforms like Etsy, for example, and just type up sewing patterns, um, you'll be able to see on the side of the screen here, a lot of indie seamstress that have their own 
pattern line and they're making tons of money because you create the project once and you're able to sell that one pattern to thousands of people on that marketplace. So that's something that you guys can look into either Etsy and even on Amazon, there are people that are selling patterns. And then once again, if you have your own website, that's an option for you too. So just kind of think about what you want to offer. Is it going to be clothing pattern, home decor or accessories? Because it doesn't have to be an entire outfit. It can be like just a bucket hat or it could be a tote bag. The choice is yours. Another thing to add to your list is creating accessories. And this is really good for those that probably don't want to create a complete outfit, but want to create something that can complement an outfit. So start thinking about what you can offer. It could be hat, gloves, tote bags, and more. Last year during the spring and summer, I created a collection of bucket hats and I sold out. So if you would like my PDF pattern for my bucket hat, I actually have a tutorial with the PDF down below in the description for you so you can get started and start selling right away. Last on the list is creating custom garments. And honestly, with custom garments, you can make quite a bit of money because people will pay extra to have a garment that is tailored and customized to their body shape. So one thing that I specialize in is prom dresses. And we all know how that goes when it comes to social media. There's tons of high school girls and even some of the guys that will go all out because it's their last year of high school and they want to show out and I don't blame them. And so with prom dresses, I'm able to create that, you know, the look that they have been visioning for the longest. And also I'm able to make them happy on their special day. Now, if you don't want to do prom dresses, you do have the option of like doing red carpet events and even wedding dresses. So try to figure out what it is that you probably want to specialize in there are some people that do a little bit of everything but once again custom garments can be very very profitable now something I want to add to that is the marketing side of things because the way I was able to get the word out about my custom made garments is by creating sample pieces and putting them on social media so I was using platforms like mostly Instagram Facebook and even Pinterest to get the word out and bring more brand awareness something else you can do is do a trade for trade with models online so this is where you could take professional photos for them. And then that way, when they are wearing your garments in the photo for the shoot, you're able to give them the professional images that they can use for their portfolio. Lastly, I used influencers. And this is perhaps the best thing that I could have ever done because it allowed me to reach a larger audience in a shorter period of time. So if I'm collaborating with creators or influencers that have 100,000 or a million plus followers, that's more eyeballs on my brand. So that's something that you guys could look into. I'm gonna put some photos on the side with some of the influencers that I collaborate with to bring more brand awareness to my collection other than that you guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you would like to see next and also make sure you check out the links below for some of the tools that I use including some of those free PDF files so you can start creating your garments today